How's it going guys, Donnie coming to you from Penguin Style, I'm a solid Japan. Behind me you got here is the S2R33. If you guys have been following the page, you've definitely seen it in the background. So sitting for a little bit because I've been waiting for a couple components to actually fix. So basically this customer got with me about two months ago, I think actually three months ago, uh, as far as fixing the car, they put the car somewhere else. Did it, it ran, didn't run, start, blah, blah, blah. So basically in a nutshell, without the fault of uh, making this a lesson, uh, pretty much everything could, could go bad, went bad and uh, different things and I had to sort some other things out. Um, so in a nutshell, uh, this car um, is all fully restored. Just got back from a test drive. Full acceleration, no problem. Actually in the snow, so it's been, you know, hella hot, hella cool. Uh, went through all the conditions and everything and it starts up in all, all phases so everything's completed. Uh, the customer's gonna get their car back and they're gonna be happy and they're gonna be able to drive it. The fuel system, these cars are 25 years old. You guys, before you start looking at turbos and all this other stuff out there, you gotta make sure your maintenance is good to go. That means checking things out. One of the things I will talk about that everybody uh, will think, well, why would that work is uh, your fuel tank uh, cap. Uh, that has springs inside of there. It helps uh, keep the pressure, put fuel in your car. You notice when you take the cap off, you get this nice uh, the hissing sound, big hissing. That's pressure release, re uh, releasing from your tank. Uh, that pressure also helps uh, the fuel uh, propel through the system and everything. So uh, the other component that was really bad in it, uh, when I tested this a while ago, um, the fuel pressure regulator was obviously out. And, and coupled with the fuel, fuel control, easiest, cheapest mod you can do uh, for an older car uh, is, your, is your 12 volt fuel pump mod, meaning your fuel pump's gonna get the full 12 volts on a relay system, make sure everything's good to go. So if you guys got the older cars, you wanna get that done, you wanna get 100% fuel all the time and not, you know, 4.5 volts at this RPM and 12 volts at this RPM, a lot of times it doesn't click over. And I also have seen in my time, I've seen fuel controllers actually uh, go backwards reverse the fuel so just get rid of that stuff you know even older cars got computers in it you're going to get that stuff out of there get something in there that's compatible the isr uh, fuel pressure regulator is definitely a good piece to put in there fuel full kit you can buy that through my, my website make sure everything's going to go there this car is 2022 uh, and if you got a car with no gauge on it uh you're doing it wrong if you don't need any performance out there all that stuff like that again before you start getting to your big turbos pistons rods all that good stuff make sure you got the basics to monitor what you do have this car has been through multiple shops um they haven't figured it out uh, a few parts that's, that's supposed to been changed i identified the original part so customers got screwed in the process again i'm going to sell my shops on my business all right so one thing about Penguin style i can buy the car i can store the car i can build the car i can ship the car i can do all those things and more one guy from one shop versus going through this guy, going through that guy, going through that guy. You get a car, get a car through me, I'm gonna verify that the car works, or we're not gonna buy it. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play around with the sellers. The seller's gonna provide me certain things. Uh, rotaries, you gotta keep compression checks, uh, different things like that, you know, videos, under under body shots, stuff like that to verify the car's good to go. This car behind me, the ass painted the customers have been through could have been averted if they would have went through a certain source. They pretty much got left with the ball rolling. And what I was told by the customer, uh, they were told that it's an old car, what did you expect? Of course, we know they are old cars, but when you're selling something, you should know it works. And uh, the issue this car had, definitely had it before it left a lot. So again, uh, to remove all the middlemen and make sure make sure you're getting the best service you can, it's better to deal with a shop like Pinkle Style and uh, you can get everything done at once and everything. Well, I got a good a good circle. Uh, we're not looking to screw people over. We're gonna, we're gonna make money. Uh, so definitely, uh, don't, definitely come with your purse and uh, make sure uh, you're ready to play because uh, we're not gonna cheap out cheap services equate to a cheap product or something that you don't want. Again, as you can see, this car is fixed properly now. It's running, they'll be able to drive and do what they gotta do and uh, just make it all happen. So again, spend a little bit of money now and cry a little bit less later. So it's gonna, it's gonna be done to sign off from Massage Japan, Pinko Style, uh, not podcast today, but it's Pinko Style Garage. See you guys later. Be sure to send your um, emails and everything to download at PinkoStyle.com and I'll get to you as I get time. Very busy, got a lot of cars to process. This one's done, and on to the next, man. So again, thank you guys for checking out this small video. See you guys later. Have a safe day, safe night, safe morning, whatever. See you guys later. Peace.